hi guys welcome back to shabes online tutorial in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to provide a solution to this question on the board if you are new here consider subscribing to my channel and also follow me on facebook tiktok instagram at shabes online tutorial so the question on the board reads if m minus x is equal to 12 comma n minus y is equal to 7 then t minus z is equal to 15 and m plus m plus t is equal to 50 then we are going to look for the value of x plus y plus z. So let's get started. Solution. The first thing we are going to do is to rewrite the given equation. So the first one is what? m minus x, which is equal to 12. Then the next one is n minus y is equal to 7. And we have t minus z is equal to 15. So the is equal to 15 this is the given equation so from this equation equation m plus n plus t is equal to 50 and we're going to look for the value of x plus y plus z so the first thing we're going to do is to add all this equation together so we're going to add it together we're going to have what m plus n plus t is going to be what m plus n plus t then minus x minus x plus minus y is going to be minus y then plus minus z is going to be what? Minus z, which is equal to 12 plus 7 plus 15 is going to give us 34. And recall from the question, m plus n plus t is equal to 50. And if you look at this expression here, which is m plus n plus t, which is the same as 50, we're going to replace this as what? 50. Then minus x minus y minus z, which is equal to 34. The next thing we are going to do is to subtract 50 from both sides. So if you do that, we are going to have what? Minus 50 here and also minus 50. We are going to have 50, 50. 50 minus 50 is going to cancel. It will be 0. So what remains here is minus x minus y minus z, which is equal to 34 minus 50 is going to give us what? Minus 16. So the next thing we are going to do is to factor out the common term and if you notice that minus one minus one minus one is common so we're going to factor out minus one we open bracket so this will remain x plus y plus z which is equal to minus 16. so if you use this minus one to open this bracket we are still going back we are still going to get minus s minus y minus z so the next thing we are going to do, remember, we are looking for the value of x plus y plus z. Now, we are going to divide through by the coefficient of x plus y plus z. We have minus 1 into x plus y plus z, which is equal to what? Minus 16. Now, we are going to divide through by minus 1, which is coefficient of x plus 1 plus z. So, if you, this, we are going to cancel this. So, in the left-hand side of this equation, we have left with only x plus y plus z which is equal to minus is going to cancel minus and 16 divided by 1 is going to be for 16 so therefore the value of x plus y plus z in this from this equation is going to be what 16 thanks for watching and please follow and subscribe for more thanks